Do you hate paying full price for software? Well, this video's sponsor has you covered. YourCityKeys.com offers discounts on all the latest PC titles and even better discounts on Windows 10 and Office Pro licenses. You can validate your copy of Windows or stop using that annoying open source version of Office for a fraction of the price of buying them retail. You can even bundle Windows 10 and Office for even further savings. Use coupon code TJ20 at checkout to save 20% more. Links, as always, are in the description. He makes videos about computers on the internet, on the internet. Timmy Joe PC Tech, PC Tech, Tech Reviews, Computer Parts, you betcha. What's up people? My name is Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers upon here in the internet. You love me, don't you? And I love you. Anyways, um, I just completed a week of using the Intel 9900K 8 core 16 thread processor and I wanted to give you a little bit of uh, talk about it as well as uh, they're, they're not stopping, especially not uh, in the KB Lake or Sky Lake architecture. Uh, they're going to double down or I don't even know how to explain they're, they're adding more cores because they can't figure out how to shrink their node and I want to talk about that as well and you know versus this and possible whatever but before we get to that uh, I wanted to talk just a little quickly here about some stuff CES this year um, it's always been my dream it's always been my dream and I really did think about you know summertime that this would be my year and it would be just a simple thing uh, you know finances would be good enough and whatever and what have you but uh, quite simply put I'm just me and I decided back the beginning of the summer to do this all on my own and to quit my day job and to open a little computer shop and then do YouTube full time as well and I know that's on me like I understand it's hard to believe, you know, or hard to understand some people, you know, you think you just go work a normal job, dummy, but I'm not wired that way. I've, I've seriously been like the manager at like four different car dealerships and different things and it just never works out because I want to run my own ship and I kind of did it in an ass backwards way. So this year when, you know, I was starting getting all the emails about CES and, you know, the, the vendors wanted to uh, book times with me and I started doing all the finances and even with some, some sponsors uh, that, you know, are willing to toss a few bucks my way uh, to help me go. Thanks very much, FSP. Seriously, FSP is the greatest. Um, I just, I can't afford it on my own, un unfortunately. And it's supposed to be a pretty damn good year because... AMD is supposed to do some seven nanometer stuff. There's all kinds of cool stuff coming. And you know, just in general, it's been like a long time coming. I've really wanted to go and do this for a long, long time. And you know what? I get comments like this all the time. Uh, you know, I know I have a different sort of channel here. You know, Timmy Joe, you're probably one of the most underrated tech reviewers around his videos on older tech, you know, and I, I know that that's really where I shine and there's no CES for older tech, but maybe one day I could make one. But uh, without wasting too much of your time, uh, I've created a GoFundMe. Um, and it's for $1,000 Canadian. And I know that this is asking a lot of you guys, especially around the holidays, but there's like 72,000 of you. And I know that really, like, I don't have 72,000 people watching every video. That's why I'm including the clickbaity of the Intel, whatever. You can click off now if you want to. But uh, $1,000 would cover my airfare and my lodgings. And the other sponsors would help me have some walking around money. And, you know, uh, and then, you know, th things would be easier, a lot easier. So uh, I've set up this GoFundMe, and if you can donate a couple of dollars, only if you can afford it, man. There are people out there that are well off, and there are people out there that aren't. I don't expect everyone to do this. I just, I figured rather than just give up on my dreams this year, and I, I'm not going to, uh, you know, the next event would be uh, Computex. I'm not going to Taipei on my, on my salary right now. So this is a moonshot. You know, if you can help me out, toss a couple dollars my way. If, you know, 500 of you tossed me $2, I'd meet my goal and it would be easy to go. So I'll leave that up to you guys. I, I love every single one of you. I try to comment you know, and, and reply and talk to you guys. And there's a Patreon you can donate on too. 
But if you could just do a one-time thing to help me get to CES, it would really, really help me achieve some dreams. And I guarantee you'll have some cool content. And we'll keep up with this channel. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, and if you can help out, the links are in the description. But, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. Even if not, uh, the whole point of that would be if I don't, get the to go if for some reason i can't go or i don't meet the goal i wouldn't take the money either i'd refund everyone so just i'm just figured i'd put it out there rather than give up on the dream this year so this this baby still in the computer but i got to give it back today the 9900k eight core processor from intel it's like the right ever since ryzen came out it's the dream to have the eight cores with the speed of intel and what do i think of it what do I think of it? Well, it's just sort of coming back. I guarantee you Cyber Monday and stuff like that has, has brought it back out of stock. But it just came back in stock. My buddy just got one. And it's so overpriced. $569. Is it in stock? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so they finally got some in stock. That's interesting. So they, we've already talked about this, but this is essentially... They take the technology from Skylake. Okay, remember Skylake, like the 6700K? They just added two of those together, put them in one die at the same process, and now they're talking about adding two more. And it's hilarious because it's the core wars aren't ending. I figured eight, you know, maybe we'd have like three, four years of this being the mainstay, seeing as, uh, you know, four cores was the mainstay for so long with hyper-threading, eight threads. And uh, we're finally seeing, like I just saw Gamers Nexus to a video where they, they took the my hated of CPUs, the 9600K, and proved there's frame time issues because certain games are actually starting to want eight threads, which is pretty cool. And when you have just a standalone six cores, you're not necessitating all that, and this has a hard time keeping up in some games. I think we're going to start to see this more and more and more. Uh, but more than eight cores, 16 threads, are we really going to need that? So before we keep going, I just wanted to uh, mention the experience between these two, the Ryzen 2700 and the Intel 9900K. For me, as a video editor, as someone who's got a billion things going on my computer at all times, was very negligible, very negligible. And how much are you paying for a 2700X? Well, you're paying less, uh, you know, more than $200 less. That's for goddamn ridiculous. And was the performance there? Was it justified? Did I feel like it was like, wow, that was way faster? Not at all, not at all, not at all. Even gaming, okay? I didn't feel with the 1080 Ti in there, that I was missing out on anything if I went back to Ryzen. I felt like this, uh, this especially over the 1700, the 1700 was a good start, but this being a little bit smaller process and going a little bit higher clock speeds. And then we have, you know, some real good Intel news, or uh, AMD news coming, and Intel just, I think, is just crapping in their diapers. And I've already done a video on that, I know. So, Intel won't have 10 nanometers ready until the end of 2019. Oh, goodness. So, <laughs> what happened, man? What happened? I don't think we want to see more cores from Intel at this point because you need a freaking snow bucket. A snow bucket. And yes, I put a bucket of snow in my water loop in order to cool the damn thing to get this thing to run at its high clock speeds. So, adding two more cores according to hot hardware here? on a comet lake man that is such a silly step and i get that you have to satisfy the urges but would you isn't it better to concentrate on production of this and then concentrate on actually getting your 10 nanometer ready rather than jamming one more core into the mix i mean it just doesn't make sense look at how many skylake based processors there have been and you're gonna add more to 14 nanometer why why dudes why she don't make sense to me whatsoever so then we have the other side of the coin very interesting stuff amd uh, previews epic rome processor up to 64 cores so if we can count the ccx's here one two three four eight eight 
divided by 64 means there's eight cores per CCX. That's awesome. You think they can't fit one, two of those in between a half size version of this on a consumer level CPU? I think Intel is shooting themselves in the foot by putting 10 cores on a consumer chip for probably $800. When all AMD has to do is bring this out with just this little section here and then their core wars are, are ended and maybe seven nanometer even ends their frequency lead. It's, it's just ridiculous. So that's my, my whole thing for today. Yeah, that was like Google and some stuff. Anyways, that's my whole thing for today is Intel is going to lose some serious clout here by keep, it's almost as if they're repeating the steps AMD made with Bulldozer and Excavator and Pile Driver. It's almost the same thing. We saw AMD put out, uh, you know, uh, a few years ago, the FX line, and they didn't change a damn thing for like five years maybe four, four or five years. And Intel is doing that, except for all they're doing is adding cores to their mix and they're gonna have to start shipping liquid coolers with their products. Well, they wouldn't do that. They're way too cheap to do that. I mean, they don't even include a cooler at all on the high end right now. AMD was at least nice enough with their, uh, you know, their high end 9000 series to go, oh, well, you can buy it with a water cooler and that'll probably help out. I don't know what kind of cooling would cool a 10 core part unless they're going to clock it lower and you got to know they're not going to. So it's going to be the same biz all over again with this whole, you can't cool the 9900K. You're not going to be able to cool the 10,100K or whatever it's going to be called. I just, I don't get it. So uh, my experience, I guess in, in the end with this was with the 1080 Ti in here, thanks very much, Keith, for lending me this, and I'm gonna give it back to you. And uh, I'm sorry that I overclocked it so far. I, th I know you're all, you're kind of cool with it, but that's really really nice of you. It's been running beautifully in here, but do I notice that it video edits better, or really renders a video better than the 2700 did? I mean, maybe it gave me an extra 30 seconds a day. Is that worth it for more than $200? No. And is the extra 10 cores? And then, you know, you're already losing the high end core, uh, core war at 32 cores right now. You don't have a 32 core part, an i9 or a Xeon part, a 28 core, sure. But when is the core wars going to end? I don't know. Are we ever going to need this many cores? Probably not for a long time. I, I don't know. I'd much rather see better CPUs at this point than more cores. AMD was right to bring this out and it works very well, and it was about damn time. They did it where Intel should have done it a long time ago. But add it, you know, just keep adding more and more and more isn't going to do any better for us. We want better CPU technology, and I think that's what these guys' goal is. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. Again, if you can help me with this whole deal, bringing me to CES so I can see what AMD has in store, so I can go see some of uh, the cool cases and the new technology that's coming out. And maybe some of you in Vegas will see me and say hi, and maybe I can even see some of my peers and some of the guys I've pissed off over the time and they can yell at me. I mean, that would make for a good YouTube video, wouldn't it? Ha, <laughs> chase two cents? Yeah, right. One million plus subscribers. Anyways, thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked it, there's a like button. And if you want to help me and you're one of these people that says, hey, Timmy Joe, you're the most underrated blah, blah, blah of all time. Maybe you can help out, but I don't expect anybody. And again, if this campaign doesn't work out, I'll just refund everyone. And I won't go to CES this year. And we'll wait until next year when I've got 100 and 120,000 subscribers or whatever it'll be. But I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep on next week. We're going to review this baby. We're going to go back to the old hardware for a little bit because I know that's what people love. I've got some... Uh
SSDs that are made out of weird compact flashcards we're going to look at next week. I've got a high refresh rate monitor we're going to look at from Zowie BenQ. The, the videos keep coming. And you guys fuel it every day, buddy. You fuel it lots. So I'm at Watch Jimmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. There is a Patreon as well if you'd like to help me make videos on the internet as well. And yeah, if you can help me out with this. Look how happy I am there. Don't you want to send that little boy and send him on his dream and give me a Christmas present? I don't know. Maybe you don't. I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks very much for watching. Oh no, I need new glasses. Timmy Joe. Timmy. Timmy Joe. He makes videos about computers on the internet.